What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name's Bailey and I make videos every week here about varying topics such as fitness, writing, reading, and anything that seems really fun or important to personal development and growth. So that's my channel. If you'd like to stick around, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications if you like videos like this and you want more of them. Today's video is all about the book I Should Be Writing a Writer's Workshop. This is a book review on one of the best writing resources that I've ever found, especially for newbie writers, so we're gonna get into it. So from what I can tell and doing a little bit of research, not many people are actually looking into this book, which I find really interesting. The book is actually a pretty great resource in my opinion, especially for newbie writers. Um, it was published in 2017. It has very little reviews on YouTube, but it's actually got a few awards, including the 2007 Parsec Award for Best Writing Podcast and John W. Campbell award winner. And in my personal opinion, it's actually a really great resource for newbie writers. It has so much about varying topics that most newbie writers don't really want to get into or are at least afraid to dive into in the regards that it's very geared towards a lot of self-publishing rather than traditional publishing, which I find extremely fascinating because I'm pretty sure this is a traditionally published book. Um, I'm not 100% sure. If you do know, please leave a comment down below and feel free to uh, change my mind about that if you know otherwise, because I don't. I Should Be Writing is a workshop book, essentially, that divulges into varying topics, all varying from imposter syndrome and what it's like to get started and all the way up until self-publishing. So it takes you through almost what would be an entire journey and what Mer Lafferty's philosophies are in regards to publishing a book that you want to write and what i love most about it in the back of the book is a workbook that you can actually go into and do some writing exercises to the point that it's like a good portion of the back of the book there's that there and then all of them are similar to this they have the writing section on top and then they go into all kinds of varying lines so that you can write whatever you need the first one says make a list of every reason you have not to write I left this page blank intentionally, thinking I was going to go in and actually work with these. I did not, but however, this page should be blank because you have absolutely no reason to write. I thought that was very fascinating that that was the first writing exercise in the book. Going into it a little bit, and I'm going to be looking down for a little bit of it just to reference back to the book. I think one of the most important things about this book is that he starts it off talking about imposter sitting. Bailey here. I am so sorry uh i thought the author was a male turns out the author is a female i am so sorry mer please forgive me <laughs> back to the video i think one of the most important things about this book is that he starts it off talking about imposter syndrome and what it is and why it's important to those in the writing field. And I think it's makes it's part of why it makes it a really great resource for newbie writers and getting into, you know, debut novels, just starting to write, even students. Because he doesn't necessarily take it to a level that it's only about novels. It's pretty much any style of writing that can be applicable to this. But it's just fascinating that he takes it to every single level and almost every step of the way but he goes into um, imposter syndrome, self-publishing techniques, um, NaNoWriMo even, which I love that he can uh, added a chapter about NaNoWriMo and what it means um, and what he's done with it in his sense. Uh, I thought it was fantastic um, just for that alone. <laughs> he then later goes on into discussing a bit of the myths about um, what it is that it means to be a writer and what it is that you need to do to complete what would be a successful writing career and what i love about this is that they're so true but they're also so believable that you're like i never really thought of them as a myth so it's fascinating that he takes that twist on it and really pinpoints what is completely inaccurate in the world of writing and what it takes to make a successful career and in reality it's all about you and what you're willing to put in for because if you're not willing to do the work then what's the point it's not something you're passionate about obviously then you shouldn't be writing but the entire point of the book is to flip that narrative and say these are the reasons you should be writing don't take these 
fears and failures as a sign that you shouldn't be doing this. Instead, make it your driven motive and make it the reason you want to write. And I, it's honestly one of the reasons that I gave this book such a high rating. The only part that I didn't necessarily like was the idea that almost all writing advice is crap, or at least the absolutes are crap. And while I can understand that and people do need to find their own sense of writing style, there are a lot of resources out there that you can take in and really get a sense of where your process lies within those absolutes. Um, yes, there are some people that will try and sell you that this is the way for you to make a novel and then make a million dollars off that sale. The sense that it's an absolute, yes, it would be inaccurate, but the fact that you can take some of those lessons, especially if you take a lot of resources and varied resources and put them into your own terms and see what works for you, then it makes sense. But the way it was worded, I wasn't 100% okay with it. I know where his intentions lied and it's a good concept for him to be telling newbie writers to shy away from absolutes, but at the same time, there's something in absolutes that can really just set you in the right direction if you're a newbie writer, that you take the absolutes, you find stuff that works and what doesn't for you, but don't take it as a whole. While it did have some truths in it, I didn't particularly like it in regards to this book. Again, the reason I think if you are a newbie writer and you really want to start getting into writing or that you're just considering this as a hobby or career, um, it is a good resource for newbie writers in my opinion. With a lot of it being workbook based and it being heavy information first and workbook second, it is a different look to a workbook. It is more market friendly and I can understand why it would sell a good bit. It is a pretty well done book, I will give it that. The only thing again is the writing advice. I would, if you're gonna read this book, I would take it with a grain of salt in that regard. Um, it is still a good resource otherwise for newbie writers. It goes into all the things that newbie writers should be avoiding and the things that they should be looking towards instead and especially when he compares it to the bully versus muse aspect. Um, I do like that a lot actually, but he really divulges it down into what a writer's brain looks like and how you can change and shift your mindset and thinking abilities to allow yourself to become a better writer. In that regard, I gave this book five stars. Um, I thought it was great. It's definitely a great resource overall, even with that small bit of critique for newbie writers to start their writing and to have it be a workbook as well is kind of fantastic in my opinion. Um, you can definitely print off the pages if you wanted to, just create a scan if you don't want to ruin the book like I didn't want to, but you can also write in the book, which is fantastic, and he goes into so many details. I would highly, highly recommend this book if you are a person who is just starting out writing or wants to change their writing style or just wants a good resource to better their writing. This is a great book for you. Writing resources are underutilized. Most of it's Save the Cat based nowadays, but I think books like these that are underrated really could be helpful to a lot of newbie writers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I loved doing these reviews for you. And if you have any other recommendations for book reviews that I should be reading or that you think I should do a review on, then I would love to do it for you. Again, if you guys haven't already subscribed, hit the bell icon. It really does help me out and it does help you out knowing that I have videos that come out every week. Um, I try to post Monday videos uh, pretty regularly and then I have vlogs that go out on Fridays. And occasionally, if you keep your eye out for it, you can get a little sneak peek on Wednesdays for other uh, special based content videos. At the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave any comments and criticisms and to give this video a thumbs up. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!